It's a great plug-in for anybody to have in their toolbox. The little crisp bite that you hear is really crisp. We could be friends right now. Yeah. Hear that little bit oh, crushing there? Right yeah. yeah. Body. Ice. Back to where well. Might be wifey. Friends on, not me. That walk bossy. And the expand knob kind of spreads it out. Check this out. We could be friends right now. Yeah. I love these little plastic little faux flowers here in my home studio. I had real ones at first, these little faux ones. They make it look real nice in here. But yeah, there is this new plugin that's mangling up the pro audio and music production space. Let's get mangled. We could be friends right now, yeah. Oh, we can get it in right now, yeah. Body, icy, might be wifey. Friend zone, not me. That wall, bossy. I used the Mangler plugin from Unison to get that sound. And I get that question all the time. Hey, Archie, I am a music producer. I'm an engineer. Hey, what's the most important plugin I need for my studio? Well, you need several. You need an EQ that you know your way around for cutting and boosting um, those those awesome frequencies to bring out your song and make space for your, um, your track, your vocals, whatever you're doing. And a compressor that fits you, that fits your vocals, that fits your instrument, that help you tame everything and glue everything together. And then you need those reverb and delays. And lastly, you need an all around vocal process processing instrument processing plugin that's an all-in-one effects processor i will always vouch for that and unison mangler plugin is just that and today's video is brought to you by unison and when you download the new mangler plugin for a limited time only you're going to get 60 percent off a 60 percent discount this plugin is normally $67 and this special launch price is $27. You don't want to miss out on that. Also, you get five exclusive bonuses, including melodies, bass, drums, and guitar loops with audio and MIDI stems. With those MIDI stem boys and girls, you can select your own instrument, your own VST, and make it your own, rearrange it, change up the tempo. Hey, make it your own. So definitely check it out below and use my link. You know what, let's not waste any time. Let's get to it. Let me show you guys exactly what I did and how I use this phenomenal, awesome new plugin. Let's go. So let's go ahead and jump on the screen and talk about this track where I used a large amount of the Mangler on it. So let's check it out. And then I'm gonna add some stuff so you guys can see what the Mangler plugin can do. First, we're gonna talk about what is this plugin, and then we're gonna take a look at the user interface and discuss each one of the five buttons that you see on the screen. Very simple to use, very simple to use. So let's check it out. This is the Mangler plugin. So basically with this plugin, you can take any sound and turn it into a monster. This cool little guy right here is the Mangler. You see he's up to no good. He has flames behind him and he has red eyes. He's about to cause some destruction to your track. Below him, you see there are five buttons and each one of these buttons does something fantastic. Basically the Mangle button, it gives you unison signal analog and digital hybrid distortion and compression. The Destroy is Unison most aggressive analog distortion. And the Bite Dob is basically light to aggressive bit crushing, which we will talk about as well. And the Expand Knob does this pristine stereo spread, which sounds really cool. It actually gives it a cool kind of double effect, if that makes sense. But you guys are gonna see, I just used um, it for my vocals. And the Gang Knob is basically a brick wall limiter. So you have a limiter built in. So you guys remember when I discussed those plugins? This plugin carry a few of those dynamic processors that you need to have in your toolkit. We could be friends right now, yeah. Oh, we can get it in right now, yeah. Body, ice, might be wifey. Ooh, that little Friends distortion. On, not me, that wall, bossy. So let's talk about what we did here. Basically, we have the mangle knob here, which is that unison signature analog compression and basically distortion. I mean, a lot of cool saturation happening in here too. So each one of these buttons pack some crazy punches. We could be friends right now. If I crank mangle. Yeah. 
Oh, we can get it in right now. You hear how yeah. it just sounds really in your face and pushed Bobby, against the wall? I see. Might be wifey. Friends on, not me. That wall, bossy. He can destroy it a little bit. The little crisp bite that you hear is really crisp. We could be friends right now. Yeah. Hear that little bit oh, crushing there? Right yeah. yeah. Body, I see. Might be wifey. Friends on, not me. That wall, bossy. And the expand knob kind of spreads it out. Check this out. We could be friends right now. Yeah. Oh, we can get it in right now. Yeah. Body icy. So it Might sounds be. pretty cool. So what I found really useful with the expand button is the actual background vocals here, which I use kind of like a doubler kind of effect. Let's take it, let's solo it up for you guys and we'll talk about it. Yeah. Oh, we can get it in right now. Yeah. So that is the lead vocal. Just basically, I duplicated it and then I added the vocal bender from Waves. Of course, the EQing, the um, the compression, and then auto tune. But the Unison Mangler, I expanded the heck out of it to kind of give it that width. Yeah. Oh, we can get it in right now. So it kind of yeah. serves like an octave harmony, like an octave that belongs in a harmony, but it it's wider. And we pulled some of the low end out to kind of give it a cool effect. Now with the harmony, it's just one harmony track. You guys are going to see it. Hold on. The second harmony, let's check out, is really cranked up. So you guys see what that said? <laughs> it's really cranked up. So it sounds like this as a whole. We could be friends right now. Yeah. Oh, we can get it in right now. Yeah. yeah. Wifey. Cool Friends on, not me. That wall, bossy. Now, even, let's talk about the instrument. You can bit crush the heck out of drums. Like, for example, this um, stocked electric piano in Logic. See how I got it wide? We could be friends right now. And it yeah. got a little bit crush on it. Hear that? That's... Just sounds so nostalgic and so crushed and so old school. I like that sound. And it really gave the beat something. So let's talk about what it can do to drums, okay? So let's just mute out the vocals and let's see. Let's add it to one of the kicks down here. And I use the Unison Blueprint hi-hat right here from Homeboy, which is cool. You guys check out the loop packs as well. Let's mangle up these hi-hats real quick. I got that up on the big screen here, the big boy. See that? And he gets angry. That compressor's really good in the mango button. See? And it doesn't take much, just little subtle changes. This is what I like. You have a huge throw with the knobs on this plugin because you can just add a little bit, just turn the knob a little bit, and it does some it does a lot with just a little bit. So that's the cool thing about it. Look at that. Let's see how what? I like that. Look at that. And you see what it did with the roundness there with the kick? It added some of that low, it spread it out the low end. That's that's kind of cool what it did there. So we are all mad scientists, y'all. This is about taking taking a tool and using the heck out of it. That's all. Being creative. Like I always say, creativity is subjective, inspiring others, and hopefully they take that jump and that leap to be creative as well and 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 not take this stuff so serious. It's so fun to to dive into these new plugins. This user interface from Angular is so the, the, the UI is fun to look at. It's a great plugin for anybody to have in their toolbox. And I definitely recommend you guys to check it out. You definitely want to hurry up and download it because you get 60% off um, a lunch discount. So the regular price is $67. 
but this price is $27. So you definitely want this plug-in in your toolbox. I really do appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions about the Mangler plug-in, please comment your questions below and make sure y'all go check it out. It's a really cool plug-in, really one-stop shop, really easy, not so you know invasive and complex. The UI is easy to use. You get a lot out of this dynamic processor, stereo spreads, gains. This is really cool. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Archie Beats. Don't forget to be great and create. This is your boy Archie Beats, and I'm signing off. Yeah.